What's going on, Tectonic Edge here, playing some more Mono Green Tron, and we're about to see our opening hand. The uh, other guy's got to decide if he wants to play first or not. All right, one Tron land, no green source. Otherwise, see, if we had a, a, a green source, I would keep that because of the... Actually, wait, no, we have an expedition map, so uh, yeah, I'm going to keep that. We're going to count on this once upon a time, hitting at least one Tron land. Eldrazi Temple? Is this Eldrazi? It's Eldrazi Tron. All right. We're going to wait to get the draw. Maybe play a Tron land. We're going to cast without paying its mana cost. Oh, second nose is mine. Not good. We'll take it. At least it gets us turn four Tron. Play the Expedition Rat. Another Tron land? Nope. That is the unfortunate part. And these Ugans are not going to be very good in this matchup. Eldrazi Temple Thought Knots here? Eldrazi Temple Thought Knots here. Yep. They're going to take the expedition map. Or not. Alright, we're going to go for the Sylvan Scrying. Because that gives us an extra draw. the power plant. <sighs> yep, here's the big guy. Oh, Inbringer. Alright. Not the big guy I was expecting. Way to kill the Inbringer. This turn, anyway. So we're still going to go for the Ugin. And the Expedition map. And we'll just happen to deal three here. Alright, draw a card. There's a power plant. There's a reality smasher. Come for me or the Ugin? He's thinking about it. Crack the expedition map. Grabbing the Sanctum of Ugin. Play the Sanctum of Ugin. about playing the second uh, Ugin and doing three more, but I like 
this option a little bit better because it leaves me a little bit better of a board state. I can't actually play the Ulamog right now, so we'll go for the Emrakul. to me but does he have Tron here he has Tron he doesn't know he does he have the uh, combo then is the question nine mana Walking Ballista on four. All right, he's going to kill the Ugin then. Pretty easily. Yep. If he's smart, he destroys the walking blister here and now. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, Emmer yeah. So with Eldrazi Tron, unless he has a way to get the Karn Great Creator off, um, he really needs to... He can't beat big creatures unless it's Karn Great Creator um, into the bridge. And by that point, I I have my own Karn Great Creator. Unless he's completely locking me down, there's nothing he can do. So big creatures, if they come out, will beat the, uh, Eldrazi Tron. And the Tron beat Eldrazi Tron matchup. So we'll get rid of the Ugins. Because mm. they really aren't that useful in this matchup. I like having at least one of them in there. Nature's claims don't really do anything. Maybe we'll main board the Crucible Worlds. I'll bring in one nature's claim, although they, they always feel a little useless. Just because uh, Chalice of the Void on one, that's going to be a mulligan. That's definitely a mulligan. Ooh, that's tricky. I think I keep that. Two cards, we'll get rid of an Oblivion Stone. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the No, we'll we'll, we'll keep the Walking Blister. Alright. Draw into Tron, nice. That will definitely help out. Uh, we, can, we can use this to get a threat. He, he's going to have Natural Tron too. From the look of it. Yep, there's the Chalice of the Void on one I mentioned. Uh, 
That's a nice draw here. It does get around the Chalice of the Void on one. That's a pretty good draw. That is unfortunate. So, so long as we don't get thought not seared here, I think we're good. All right, he's really scared of uh, Big Karn then. He could do Tower. I don't know. I don't think he has it if he casts that first. He could do Tower um, Matter Reshaper. Yep, there's the useless card I mentioned. Oh, wait. He's only on two minutes. Oh, he kept a two and hoping to draw into it. Yeah. Well, there's his third land. There's another spell I can't cast. That's a little unfortunate. Oh, please thought not seer. <laughs> yep. Sure. Have a one drop. Would love to draw a land here. It's not a land. Hmm. He did shut down the walking ballista. And we're losing Tron next turn, no matter what we do. We'll at least make sure we get... Eh, he's, yeah, he's going to kill it, but we at least want to get his life down as low as we can. Yep. Yep, that's a little scary. And that was the that was the risk not worth taking. Ew. Because now we have no way to kill that. If he has one more land, he can lock down our game next turn. But he's got to choose here. If he doesn't have Tron. He may just be betting on getting the land. It's nearing bridge. All right. Should still block this. Yep. And we get a draw. This is a pretty strong lock here, and these do nothing. Yep. 
He's gonna start destroying my lands. There's nothing I can do about it. Yep. He's got it pretty well locked down. I need a walking blister. It's not a walking blister. I'm still going to make him have it, but... Oh, that's good. Yeah, no, I'm not getting out of that one. Too many one drops. I'd rather have had the Ugin. Would you like to play first? Yes. Power. Oh. No second green source. That's turn four Tron. I'm going to mulligan for turn three. One, two. Hmm. Not turn three. That's a keeper, though. Uh, we're betting on that, but we'll get rid of this and the forest. Unfortunate. We'll take the Sanctum. Oh, I forgot to play the Chromatic Star. Oh, that's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. Yep, he's got Tron, but he's not going for it. Tron land, nope. All right, our best draw here is a tower. And now it's not a tower. Yeah, it looks like he's got us here. Well, that does up us a land at least. You know, I've got two. I want one on board. Five mana here. Oh, he grabbed another ghost quarter? Well, he's not wrong. But he has screwed himself a bit. We're going to threaten it. We're going to make him think we have it. Land. Hmm. I'll 
take that risk. Does not pay off for me. Chalice of the Void on one. All right. Second verse, same as the first. Well, we'll take the land so that gives it to us next turn. He doesn't get that second land. Ooh, is this... Okay, second matter reshaper. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is getting a little tricky then. Unfortunately, I do lose Khan here. There's no real way around that. get rid of your board state. He's done a pretty good job. I immediately thought we had it, but he's fought back pretty hard through it. I don't mind the three damage. Now 
Now I just need a threat. Ooh. Yeah, hold off. Come on, something big. Heh, <laughs> I'll take it. Two, four, six, seven, eight. I haven't played a land this turn. Little mug. All right, yep. Oh, all right. So good games. Uh, definitely made that one little mistake there. Um, luckily, I managed to recover from it pretty well. It definitely has been my experience that in the Tron v Eldrazi Tron matchup, uh, Tron has the advantage. Uh, even when Eldrazi Tron starts doing Eldrazi Tron things, um, their best bet is still the Congret Creator combo. Uh, just because our... When we get our threats out, they're bigger. Uh, Ghost Quarter came a little into play here. I, I still feel like he would have been much better served getting Tron online and doing playing his threats down as opposed to trying to slow me down. So I, at this point, I used to be a big advocate of the Ghost Quarter in the deck, but in the current meta and the way the matchup has uh, evolved, it's not that good, even in the Eldrazi version. I mean, it's still utility, and there are matchups that... It helps, but I'm not the biggest fan of it in the Tron matchup. But yeah, thank you for watching. This is Tectonic Edge, signing out.